everyone welcome to this video tutorial. I am going to give you a closer look on how to export the Revit project into PDF format, but this time in greater detail. When you launch Autodesk Revit Architecture, the welcome screen appears in the open workspace area anytime no files are open. You will find the new toolbar of Simlab PDF Exporter under the Add-ins tab in the ribbon. As you can see, the toolbar is disabled. In order to enable the plugin toolbar, you have to open a project and to open its default orthographic 3D view. Here, I will use the welcome screen to quickly open new project. For this demonstration, let's just perform a simple creation for a basic sample project. The first step is to click over the default 3D view button in the view tab. If you are done with the project, then, go to the plugin toolbar in the add-ins tab. As a quick overview, the toolbar is presented as a group of graphical buttons. Each button is associated with a specific function. Export File button to perform an exportation for the current project. Merge PDF button to merge two or more PDF files together. Embed PDF button to embed PDF files into HTML5 documents. PDF Settings button to allow you to control and customize the exported PDF files which include settings related to templates, the exported PDF file, 3D area properties and additional advanced options. Register button to get a license, either trial or professional, or to activate the full functionalities of the plugin. About button for more information related to the plugin. Help buttons for online help documents about the plugin, PDF setting and Simlib template designer. Before you attempt to export, you can choose edit or create a template to be used in file exportation. If so, click over PDF setting button. The PDF setting dialog box appears. In the template tab, choose one of the available templates, or you can create new templates or even edit existing templates using Simlib Template Designer. Click Save button in order to store your settings. To start exporting, click over the Export File button. Close any message boxes that you may encounter during the preparing process. To turn it off, select the checkbox then click Close. Once it is completed, the Scenes Manager dialog box appears. This dialog box allows you to choose the desired 2D and 3D scenes, including 3D views to be combined with each selected scene separately in the output file. Scenes tab lists the 2D and 3D scenes of the project. Check All button allows you to select all scenes to export. Check None button allows you to deselect all scenes at once. Up and down arrows allow you to change the order of the selected 2D or 3D scene. Note that if the model does not change among the different 3D scenes according to displacement or any modification, it is recommended to merge all 3D scenes into a particular 3D scene, using Merge 3D Scenes into Selected Scene button, which significantly reduces the size of generated PDF file. This button can be enabled only when you select any 3D scene in the Scenes tab. Cameras tab includes the cameras that will be exported in the selected 3D scene. Cameras tab lists the 3D views for each selected 3D scene. By default a 3D view camera is stored for each scene. This tab can also be enabled only when you select any 3D scene in the Scenes tab. Here. Let us choose scenes and cameras to be included in the output 3D PDF file. Finally, arrange the selected scenes. Click OK. Type a name for the file. Click the Save button. Now, in the PDF file, 
you can interactively visualize and navigate your project using the provided tools such as Model Tree, World Axes, and 3D Toolbar. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.